Alright, welcome to Tabs Farm YouTube channel once again. Today I want to share with you how you can start a poultry farm just as I started. So my name is Taras, born and raised up in the, the hills of Kawale, Western Uganda. I was born in a peasant family, born of the parents who are still alive as I make this video today. My parents were peasants, yes. And of course, they were not educated. But I liked how they wanted to educate their children. Educating us in what they did and making us love what they did. And that was simple agriculture. I remember when we were growing up, we had chickens, these local birds. We had goats, sheep, and pigs. At a very subsistence level, having maybe three pigs, ten goats, five birds, maybe chickens. But uh, as a parent, when you raise your children into what you're doing, they will love it. And once they love it, they will always do it. That is my starting point. And that is my story and my journey. The journey to where I am has roots. And you too, as you watch me, you must be having roots. Where you are struggling, saying, where will I end? Maybe you're born in a very remote area. Like mine, where there are no roads. A place that has a full stop of a road. You come from Jinja up to Kabale, just you pay 60,000 Ugandan shillings. But from Kabale town to my village, you again pay 70,000 Ugandan shillings. That means the transport of 20 kilometers is higher than the transport of over 300 kilometers. That is where I am born. And you too, you must be born in a very remote area, maybe in a hard to reach area. Don't lose hope. I studied from primary in a government school, that is UPE school, where almost everybody thinks you cannot perform. But good enough, I performed well. That was 2002, where I performed one of the best students in the, in the sub county. I got 14, 14 points at P7 in the UPE school. Yes, I got a chance, the Catholic Church, which I believe in, the Mother Church, that trained me, that gave me what I am, helped me to join the seminary. That is a minor seminary, St. Paul's Seminary, St. Paul's Seminary in Rusho Rosa, whereby they teach you holistic life. That is farming, academics, and prayer. Of course, without forgetting the moral values of the world. So they gave me all of that up to senior four, and I thank God I got also first grade. And you know why I said the Catholic Church supported me? It is because the school fees was very much manageable. By 2002, we were paying 120,000 Ugandan shillings, and I was in a boarding school, eating very well. So thank God the school exists. A level, the same. So I went up to university but again in the seminary still that is the for mission house the Mill missionaries in uganda supported me to do a degree in social sciences of course i wasn't, I wasn't there for a degree i was there for priesthood but they, they help you study what is balanced they say supposing you fail priesthood you can fit in the world so for me i opted for social sciences affiliated to Nkosi University. That is how I got my bachelor's degree in social sciences as a student from Nkosi University. So here I am, morally upright, hardworking, and educated. Yes, we are not talking about education alone. You too can study. You too can work whether with, with education or without education. What matters is natural intelligence. Oh, the the organic knowledge you got from your parents or from your guardians can help you. As I said, my parents were peasants. I went into, I studied physics and math. Then I studied social sciences and now I'm doing agriculture. It is a paradox. You can't know how it happens. However, life dictates you. Life dictates you what you are to be. But you too have to decide with life what you want to become. So here I am. 
In 2014, I was done with education. Formally out of school. So I came to Jinja, not because I had come for a job, but I came to look for jobs. And you can imagine a young man from school, you were looking smart. Of course, from the seminary, you're looking so smart. The, the hands are so soft. People receive you very well. They think you ought to be a priest. In Africa, people like priests, actually. The Catholic priests are loved so much. And of course, when you get out, the love shifts. I remember when I was there, I had some girl who was confused in my around. But when I left like this, she also left. That is the paradox of life. The ones you have, when you have something, they go away when you have nothing. And that is what I usually say, the best friend you have is the one who saw you when you were growing up. Now, when I left in 2014, I was stranded. One day, after applying for over 1,000 jobs, both online, some physical handed in, going to offices here and there, I decided to stop. Because every money that I came with, every money that I had, every money that I had saved for my life was all finished. So I decided to go to look for jobs on the building sites. I want to thank Mr. Osinde, wherever you are, gave me a job on the site. He was a foreman. I've since lost touch with him. Well, of course, you know these phones, I didn't have a good phone. When, when the phone got spoiled, all the numbers got spoiled to them. So if Mr. Osinde from Tororo, wherever you are, you can always contact me. My number is 775-15-8776. I liked the way you handled me. And because you gave me a job for over one year as a porter, I saved the money slowly until I started this farm. It's now a mega farm starting from a site. So you are giving me 8000 every day as a porter. And I saved it every week. I used to tell Osinde that please save for me this money. When it reaches 50,000, you give it to me. Because I wanted that 50,000 note that is not changeable. I had to gamble in the course of the week because we went on the site and as a porter, you can have that, those small tips of offloading the vehicle, digging manholes, digging trenches, or digging these foundations. Those are the side hustles when on the site exactly. But again, they give you 8,000 per day. So I saved that 8,000 and I ate what was given as a tip, as what because I was one of the hard working guys there. The engineers loved me so much, even the foreman, the owner of the site, they loved me so much. So I saved up to 600,000 Ugandan shillings. You can imagine. Uh, having been sleeping in the shanty place, having been helped by anybody, I decided to start a life. It's where I got a mattress, and of course, I started life. To students who have gone through university, or those who are still in school, maybe senior five, senior six, I have some piece of advice. They will have too much distraction in the world. That is internet, those are the TV, televisions, and peer pressure, or peer friends. Please, the Baganda say, or the, the Africans say, tell me whom you, you go with, and I tell who you are. Show me the person, show me your friends, and I show you who you are. Please get the right friends. The friends who matter, the friends who give you advice, the friends who, who don't distract your life. What do I mean? Who can guide you in whatever you're going through as a struggle? So, at one time, whenever I came from the site, every day, whenever I came from the site, a choir was a Friday. Then, of course, other days, I had nowhere to go, apart from going to the bars, not to drink, but to Talk to people. These we don't go to the clubs. Go to these simple bars where people drink. Gentlemen, where they go to drink from. Uh, I I used to sit with some three gentlemen and one gentleman, a Rotarian, got used to me. At one time, he asked me, "Can you do farming?" Because he saw I was I was hardworking, with right speech, right English, but jobless. Looking at the hands of a, of a porter, they are always very, very dirty, hard hands. So he decided to give me where to sleep. And I thank God that he ever existed, Mr. Fausti. Give me where to sleep and where to wear my bags. This is the structure. I started my poultry. And this is the room I slept 
for five years. I put this room was meant for Ruda. Because the farm was left without work, without birds, so I joined in. I started rearing my birds. And of course, before that, I was sleeping in the brooder. I had to wash it, clean, then come in and sleep here without a window. No problem. As long as you know what you want, you persevere. So I was there. He told me to use the upstairs of the structure. Without the downstairs. You can imagine the upstairs didn't have the ladders going up. I had to build these ladders myself. I built them. Whenever I came from the site, I came with at least a piece of wood which was not being used. I told the foreman, the foreman accepted that. Whenever you're going, take at least a piece of wood. You can see this wood is all around shackled. It's very bad, but it helped me up. So I roofed it. The ladders were roofed. With the cup I had, 600,000. What did I do with it? I bought 15 boilers, slept with them in the house. Sold them. I got more money. So I, I bought, now I bought 45 boilers. You can imagine sleeping with the birds. But the good thing, there is money and they only take four weeks. So you put in the water in the morning, because they were feeders, they were drinkers. I would put in the water in the morning, then I go to work at the sites. In the evening I come back, I change the water and I put the, the, the feeds. You know, they use lights. And of course I didn't have the lighting system. So I used to have these, these batteries, these the radio batteries, tie them together. Then I put a bulb of the torch by wiring side by side. It was, it was always funny, but because I did physics at a level, that was not a waste of time at all. And because I did economics, had business ideas, and because I did entrepreneurship, I know the marketing strategies, and I know which business comes in before the other. I know the marketing strategy, everything. So that helped me to grow quicker. Within five years, I already had land. How did I acquire my land? You save in this village savings and loans association. That's what we call VSLA. You save your money every week. We save starting from 2,000 shillings per share, or may up to 10,000, because those are five shares. We can also save from 10,000 per share up to five, five shares, that's 50,000 per week. So if you're a reporter, you're able, the way you was a reporter, you are able to save at least 40,000 a week. If you're somebody who is not having a big family, you start a student who has come from university, you're able to save that money. So I saved slowly, slowly, and I acquired this piece of land. It was, I started by buying 45 feet by 100. I later was given a chance to get Add there something like 30 feet by 100. Then right now we are sitting at 100 by 100 feet plot. That means you can do anything starting with what is available. So after wearing broilers for some time, I remember when they became 45, I sold them to a hotel in the town that bought them at 12,000. It was a good chain, that it was a good deal. So that money which I got out. I thought about doing bigger. So I brought in 300 birds. Those birds almost ate me. 300 birds, broiler birds, eat at least 2 million. And you can imagine, that was an overambition, an overambitious project. So I want to thank a lady called Bin. She gave me 1 million Ghanaian shillings. And Nalongo gave me. For, for. When you have charcoal in the uh, brooder, you keep adding in the into this charcoal, which is ash. But it, the charcoal does not go quickly. Because remember, I had my batteries, the batteries for the radio as light. So, of course, the heating system had to be charcoal with a pot. All of that was my boosting point. After that batch of 300 broilers, I went into layers. So layers have moved with me, and layers are more profitable than broilers, according to me. Broilers are quick. They, are, they make you start quicker. But the layers, they are a sustainable project. Broilers, when they lack market, they disorganize you. But for layers, the, the eggs always have that market. And if they, there is some bit of market problem, 
you can you can gamble at least at a minimum loss but brothers can go into deep loss so i went in two layers moved on for a very long time in layers and up to now i'm seeing layers of course layers can disorganize you too they have challenges challenges like they can die they can if you you can get a raw a bad breed but still you sort yourself with the time never lose hope for us we say perseverance or resilience determination hard work and of course prayer they keep you going of course i i shoot this video in the in easter in easter season the christian is not what i mean by easter season it is the time we pray for your farm you die with christ you, you follow christ you pray for your farm you follow your projects so right now we have grown with the layers we have enough land now we have pigs and of course we are content to do what we have the only key to success is to first understand that you are contented and you have the right materials with what you want in the farm. When I got this land, that was my starting point. I had to start thinking of how to construct it and live in the place that I was given. Because I started sleeping in at a free cost. Free cost. Later on, I started paying some money. But of course I was looking at it. That is growth. When somebody says pay rent, it means that you have grown. So instead of paying rent, I was like, why can't I build something? I, need to const I constructed this farm in a simple way. You just slowly by slowly, you rush. But again, my vessel is what was still there. I had to go and borrow from there. You borrow, then you pay slowly. We call them a village saving and loans association. That means is you save and borrow. Actually, it is earn, save, and borrow. So that's what I use, the principle, so that I can get what I have. So you too, if you're watching us, wherever you're watching from, whichever country, it's not right to be always talking about politics, what they call politicizing. The government has not worked, people are not good, people are bewitching me, no. You have to stand by your two feet and say, enough is enough. Just as I stood my feet and I said, enough is enough, I stopped looking for jobs, and I said it to start. So when you're on the farm, it is you. You are the manager, you're the director, and you are the worker. That's the beginning of life. Once you understand the three things, the manager, the director, and the worker, you will go on. So Kataps says, don't ever fail to start. You start. You can see the farm has come from that point actually starting from the brain and my energy of course as a porter you, you, you are the, the, the help on the sides you have the energy but because the brain is sharp you have to save the money and because you're intelligent you get the right friends and also the right vision and the right future so i want to thank you for watching this video i'll give you my part two of how the farm is progressing. Thank you for watching.